Welcome to the world of angels, miracles, and healing. The first meditation is designed to connect you with the angels. Then you'll have a miracle creation meditation and a healing meditation. For these meditations, you're always best to be sitting or lying in a comfortable position. If you are sitting, please make sure your spine is straight and your feet are flat on the floor and your hands are upright, the palms are upright. This opens you up and allows the angels access to your energy system and they love to work uh, around your hands and through the um, chakras in your hands to send you little pulses of energy. It's also an energy uh, occurrence for your spine. If you are sitting upright, energy can flow from the base chakra right up through your body, uh, up to the crown chakra along your spine. Now, connect firstly with your guardian angel and receive some messages from your angel, connect with your solar angel and Archangel Michael. It's always good to call Archangel Michael in when you're doing any spiritual work or meditations. He's a great protective Archangel. So call upon him now. The moment you call for Michael, he is there. He's often depicted by artists as having a sword in his hands. He looks a little bit fierce. He's dressed as a warrior, but he's a warrior of light and his sword is a beam of light. But it cuts through things that shouldn't be there and can separate uh, you from harmful experiences remove energies from you. So we've called upon Archangel Michael, Mikael if you would like to pronounce it just the correct way. And now we're going to ask the presence of our guardian angel. Angels actually coexist with us, they are all around us. But when you call upon the angels, you invoke them. This makes their presence stronger. They build up energy and they come more closely around you. But your guardian angel has been with you all your lifetime from your first moment of conception, always constantly with you. But you've not known about this angel, forgotten about this angel, disregarded this angel. So you've thought that you've uh, just uh, not had an angel with you. The more focus you put upon your angels, the more energy they build up, the more they can assist you. It acts as a devic seal. And so constantly asking for the angels, working with them, visualizing them, you are always uh, then so closely uh, connected with the angels it's only uh, a fraction of a thought away and they're with you very strongly and able to assist much much more so now you might like to see yourself outdoors on a beautiful day in a sunny location or see yourself in some safe and special place this often helps the meditation. And ask to meet your guardian angel. The moment you do this, you are aware of a light in front of you. A white gold light.
This is your guardian angel. And you know it's your angel simply because the energy feels very positive, very loving, very gentle. Your angel moves to your left hand side, touches your left hand now, and you feel little pulsations of light and energy flowing into the palm of your left hand up your arm, into your body. Now your angel is starting to take form and looking to you more like a traditional angel. And indeed, now your angel has wings and your angel stands closely beside you and is wrapping those wings of light around you. So you're totally safe and protected in the angel wings. Then your guardian angel is putting a cocoon of gold white light and healing energy around you. As you're in that cocoon of gold white light and healing energy, know you are totally safe, totally protected at all times. The more you ask your guardian angel to do this, the more it builds up like an absolute force field around you. So uh, energetically you are totally protected and spiritually you are totally protected at all times. This is very powerful. And now it's time to greet your guardian angel. Simply say thank you angel for coming. And ask for a name. Angels really don't have names as such but they love to give us names. They recognize each other by their lights and vibrations and colors. So say dear guardian angel, what is your name please? If you don't receive it clearly now, don't worry, it will come later. Then say to your guardian angel, are you my true guardian angel, please? You'll get a sense of yes, a warm and fuzzy feeling. It, the answers can come in many ways. Some people hear voices very clearly saying yes. Some it will be just a thought or an impression. Much more subtle. Then ask for assistance in your life. Ask your angel for assistance in a general way with everything that you do today. Ask your guardian angel to assist you for the remainder of your life, time upon this earth, with everything you do. Ask them to stay close by your side, giving you constant healing and energy and a flow of inspiration into your mind. Ask your guardian angel to smooth your way at all times. And then if you have a particular worry or problem in your life, ask your guardian angel to assist you with this please now. Remembering it is good to specify a time with guardian angels. They don't have the same sense of time as we do. So saying now well, means now, not sort of next year. And now it's time to ask your guardian angel to please give you a message. Just any message your angel would like you to have now please. Then 
then ask your guardian angel are there any messages for me please in regard to the week ahead and ask your guardian angel for assistance and guidance in any uh, particular situation that is causing you uh, worry at this present time I know that this um, will happen and if you haven't received a clear message don't worry sometimes the angels will give you a sign very soon after this meditation Or else when you go to bed tonight, just repeat this uh, question and the answer will be there either in your dreams or by the morning. And we thank our guardian angels for this. At a later time you may find it's necessary to turn the CD player off at this stage and receive more involved messages and this comes with time and practice and patience now be aware of Michael very strongly on your right hand side and Archangel Michael is always there acting as a bouncer as such that implies some energies if they come near you or around you he will just send them away so again I can't emphasize enough just asking for Archangel Michael always when you're starting to do meditation and healing work spiritual work is very important He holds his beam of violet white light above your crown and starts to float more white light through you. As he does this, you're aware of the presence of another angel in front of you. It's a finer, subtler energy. You get a sense of swells of gold and pink and violet energy then they seem to take shape and you have this incredible intense violet pink and white energy in front of you and you realize it's an angel you have an angel with you your solar angel your solar angel actually resides mainly upon the soul plane but comes to visit you from time to time indeed our soul resides upon the soul plane so when we connect more with our solar angel we can receive the wisdom and information of both our solar angel and our soul and now you're aware of this angel in front of you you feel waves of light and energy starting to flow through you pink and violet and gold and white energy the angel takes more form, more shape and you see a traditional angel in front of you open your heart to this angel open your heart chakra ask the angel to come and merge with you the angel steps forward and merges into you, into your heart, into your physical body then spreads the most enormous beautiful wings of light out behind you then above you at your soul star chakra you're aware of a light seeming to be switched on and a flow of energy coming down to you you have activated both your soul star chakra and the angel within you now just talk with your solar angel tell your solar angel 
you would like to have a flow of inspiration and wisdom coming to you over the next days, weeks and months. You would like to know your true purpose upon this earth. You would like the answer to many esoteric uh, concepts and questions you have. And just greet your angel also by saying, Dear Solar Angel, do you have a name I may call you by please? Do you have a message for me please? And again, ask your soul angel to please start to flow information and ideas into your mind during your sleeping state, your meditation and dreaming state, and know that this will occur. You can relax now, your life is guarded. You have connected with your guardian angel, your solar angel, Archangel Michael. More and more you will be in the right place at the right time. More and more synchronicities will occur in your life, and you will know you are guarded and protected by the angels at all times. You receive a constant flow of ideas and inspiration into your mind. So even if you think it's not the angels assisting you, those bright little ideas, those wisdom uh, ideas as well, will be from the angels, as well of course from your higher self from time to time. You're aware of many more angels waiting to meet you. But for now, it is time for the angels to move away slightly. Michael steps back, your solar angel steps back. And then, merges back into you. So your solar angel is telling you, they wish to stay with you now. You will not feel their presence as strongly, but certainly they will be there. Your guardian angel steps back slightly. And we thank all our angels for their presence, their wisdom and their guidance today. <laughs>